It kind of started by accident. Uh, we were having a student bridge game one night and joking about products that weren't on the market. And uh, it got sillier and sillier, and finally somebody teasing my wife said, uh, it's too bad nobody's selling tobacco mosaic virus. I said, gee, that's an interesting idea. <laughs> so the next day, we drove down University Avenue looking for a storefront and finally ended up with a little Quonset hut in Berkeley. And we then found out that no one was really interested in <laughs> buying tobacco mosaic virus. My first experience uh, with Dave Schwartz was um, this nice guy that I met uh, that uh, I assumed was the janitor. Uh, he was certainly, uh, he was out in the parking lot filling potholes. I saw him trimming trees. In fact, at one point even got him to get me some paper towels for the, the men's room. Uh, much to my shock, when the annual report came out that year, I was kind of intrigued why the janitor had a picture in the annual report. The first couple of years were rough years, uh, and we just started growing, and it, we've grown every year except, I think, for 93. The businesses we're in are pretty steady and uh, pretty predictable. We set a budget, we meet the budget, we exceed the budget, and it's kind of a sleepy business in a way. <laughs> I think the mad cow disease is really something uh, uh, which, which shows the, I would say, the ability of Dave and uh, Alice to, to make very quick decisions. You know, we, we were working on the mad cow disease because we, uh, we have developed an assay that we thought was going to be used for research uh, and therefore with very limited uh, sales. We explained to him what, what was the issue in Europe, what was the opportunity with the assay we had, and it took about five minutes for him to take a decision on everything. He also seems to have a unique knack for, uh, for picking markets for Biorad to go into. Uh, ones that may be small initially, but he feels have uh, um, a lot of growth potential. And uh, more often than not, he's been right. And I think that's been one of the keys to Biorad's success. Alice and I have been going back and forth on what to do and which direction to go in for 50-something years. We've enjoyed it, still get along pretty well and uh, have a lot of fun. She's got a great sense of humor and uh, very knowledgeable, very good with the numbers, very, very bright. The secret to uh, the success of BioRad uh, comes directly from uh, Dave and Alice together. Uh, Building the company kind of a brick at a time. Uh, they're not the type to take the long home run shot or buy the lotto ticket and count on it to win. The idea there is to build a, a company over time that has sustaining ability. And I think they've done that incredibly well. We are not involved in doing the primary research that the pharmaceutical companies and the universities are doing but we're providing them with all the tools that they need. Um, a little like, uh, I guess, Levi Strauss provided the gold miners with the picks and shovels, uh, wasn't really interested in, in finding the gold, but they found the gold by supporting those operations, and I think that's where BioRad fits in.